How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in today's video we're going to be covering a brand new Nvidia setting in which most of you watching can apply to quickly and easily improve graphics on almost any game. You can currently use this feature if you have any RTX based GPU, whether that be desktop or laptop, anything down to an RTX 2060 will be able to use this new feature at its fullest and improve graphics and visual fidelity in practically any game with a minimal impact on performance. If you don't currently own an RTX GPU or are looking to get one in the near future though, you can also watch this video and stick around for a few other optimizations in which you can choose if you are only running on a GTX based GPU, so there's still some value in watching this video for you. The new feature in which we're going to be using is NVIDIA's brand new DLDSR or Deep Learning Dynamic Super Resolution. This is a heavily updated and overhauled version of the already existing DSR, but the difference with this version is that it actually utilizes the tensor cores on all RTX based GPUs to minimize the performance impact and provide a better image quality and allow you to render at higher resolutions. This is especially important for those of you running at 1080p or 1440p as will allow you to up your resolution with inside of the game, then have Nvidia downscale that higher resolution to your monitor's native resolution, offering fantastic visual fidelity improvements. This is especially important for games which feature a lot of foliage, or that experience quite harsh jagged edges. If you're a user that typically enables anti-aliasing on your games, and you prefer cleaner looking lines rather than harsh jagged edges which are not particularly pleasing, this setting is definitely something in which you should set up and try out. As always, if you do enjoy this video and find it useful, please do consider leaving a like, alongside leaving a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm them as it helps me out tremendously. With all of that and more coming straight after a message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing the Activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home, or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows, and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. So before we jump into any game, we first of all need to update our NVIDIA driver as this is exclusive to the brand new 500 series of NVIDIA GPU drivers. To update your GPU driver, you can use the GeForce Experience if you currently have that installed to your system, or you can use the link in the description down below, which will take you over to nvidia.com, proceed to scroll down, and put your product series, so I'm using a 30 series GPU. If you're using a laptop, select Notebook, then select the product in which you're using, Operating System, then select Start Search. After a few short moments, proceed to scroll down, you should then be able to see the latest game ready driver at the top of your results with inside of it. Depending on when you're watching this video, there may be a newer version out. Whatever is at the top though, select get download, then select download now. Before we update our driver, I'm quickly going to shout out a video in which I recently published to the channel, which will show you how to properly do a clean installation of new GPU drivers using the DDU or display driver uninstall utility. It's super quick and easy to follow along with and can actually fix many performance issues, game crashes and PC crashes you could be experiencing from corrupt or dated driver installs. To install the driver, just simply click on the up arrow, then select open. Select OK and the driver will then begin to extract. Click on the option which best matches your use case, then select agree and continue. Once the driver is finished installing, do a quick restart of your PC, jump back into the desktop. What we're then going to do to enable the setting is we're going to right click on the desktop and open up inside of the NVIDIA control panel. Now what happens if you boot into the NVIDIA control panel but you don't see any of these options available to you? Well this is probably because you're running on a laptop. You can still use these features but you will only be able to use these features if you plug your laptop into an external monitor. So stick a HDMI into the back of the laptop, fold down the lid, stick the other end of the HDMI into a monitor, boot back with inside of the NVIDIA control panel and you should have most of these options now available to you. Once inside of the NVIDIA control panel, head up to adjust image settings with preview at the top left. Make sure that the middle option titled use the advanced 3D image settings has been selected go to the bottom right, then select apply. Once that's been changed, head over to manage 3D settings. For this setting, you can set this up on a per game basis with inside of here, but there's no benefit into doing so. You can simply toggle it on and off with inside of every game. So we're just going to enable the setting system wide. Doesn't mean you're going to be using it constantly. It just means that you can use it as and when you please. Under 3D settings, navigate down to DSR factors. Go to the drop down menu for this. This will typically be turned off. Once inside of here, if you are running on an RTX based GPU, it is then recommended to check both the 1.7X and 2.25X DL options. DL standing for deep learning. So these DL options are going to be using the NVIDIA RTX tensor cores separate from the main GPU core. The numbers next to this will represent the resolution options which will become available, but these numbers on your screen may be slightly different depending on the monitor resolution in which you're running at. Once you've selected both of the DL options, go ahead and select OK. But what if you don't have an RTX based GPU and you're using a GT TX GPU, where well, you will still have DSR factors available to you, but you will not have the DL options. If you are using a GTX based GPU, you have the legacy scaling features where you can go from 1.2 times all the way up to 4x scaling resolution. 
but you can still achieve similar graphics fidelity improvements from selecting any of these options. I would just check most of them so you can experiment around with inside of games in the future and see what works best for you. If you are running on an RTX based GPU though, just use both of the available TL features. Once you've set that up, select OK. We're then going to navigate down to DSR Smoothness. This option is completely personal preference. It pretty much has no performance difference. For me, on most resolutions, I like to use a smoothness factor of about 10 to 15%. When you boot into your next game when you're trying this out though, if the image is too blurry or too sharp with the side of the game, jump back to DSR Smoothness and adjust this slide accordingly. And that is the new setting completely set up and good to go. And we can jump into one of our favorite games to try this out live to see the performance impact and the visual improvements. Changing the following texture settings will take away slightly from your performance with inside of games but in favor of visual fidelity which is what this video is aimed towards for those of you wanting the best graphics possible whilst giving up the minimal amount of fps you can skip all of the texture settings and just leave the settings which you previously had set that's absolutely fine and you can just use the dsr factors but both of these combined will seriously clean up any games experiencing low fidelity and this works on both rtx and gtx based gpus both new and old for the first of these options under global settings head over to anisotropic filtering and set this to application controlled and i would definitely recommend using texture filtering in any of the games in the future as long as this doesn't take away from too much fps you will be seeing a graphics improvement from using this next up navigating down to multi-frame sampled ma or mfaa we're going to be enabling this if you're looking for a more in-depth insight or explanation into what some of these settings do you can find the description underneath every setting when you hover over it the next setting we're going to be adjusting is texture filtering anisotropic sample optimization if you are noticing shimmering on distant objects or strange texture pop-in issues where it becomes really sharp or shimmery, if you do have this switched on, you can experiment around with turning this off. If you're planning on adjusting or raising the texture filter quality settings with inside of any of your games, you should also navigate down to the negative LOD bias option with inside of NVIDIA control panel, change this from allow and change this over to clamp as this will provide you with better image results when using texture filtering. Navigating over to texture filtering quality, we're going to be taking this off of high performance and setting this to quality. Navigate to the bottom right hand side, then select apply. We can then exit out and we can practically boot into any game to test this out. Now for the best results I would definitely recommend booting into a game where you've noticed quite harsh jagged lines in which you would like to improve the visual fidelity of. There's not going to be much point booting into a game in which you are already very pleased with visually and have good settings on. This is mainly going to be for those games in which you just can't seem to get right. So for me I'm going to be using PUBG for this example. This is PUBG running at 1080p and as you can see if I zoom in you're getting some really harsh jagged lines especially on the metal railings down below. To enable our brand new settings what you'll simply do is press escape head into your in-game settings menu for any game, enter inside of the graphics menu and find the option where you can change your in-game resolution. For this to work properly, you will need to be running in a full screen mode for the game. So if there is borderless or windowed, you can't be using that you need to be using full screen. Go into your resolutions and you should now see that you have some new resolutions above your native monitor's resolution. So for me, this monitor is a 1080p monitor, but I now have 1440p and 1620p available to me. And these are our deep learning super resolutions. So let's say I want to upscale to 1440p. I'll select 1440p, select apply. The screen may flicker when you apply that resolution. And once you put back inside of the game, you should see an immediate improvement to overall visual quality with not much of a performance loss whatsoever. Especially if you're a player that is using quite heavy anti-aliasing options to get rid of jaggy dual quality. If we take a look down at the grass shards underneath us, quite close to us, you can see that there is so much more resolution there as it's not just a smoothening filter, we're actually rendering that higher resolution. But if you want to take that one step further, head back into the settings menu of your game, go back to resolution, and we can actually try out the resolution above this. Now, the higher you go, the lower FPS you're going to see, but the more visual improvement you may experience. Taking a look at the sharpness surrounding the buildings in the distance, looking at those metal railings on the middle, and also the grass shards very close to us, we can see an extremely pleasing image, even on a 1080p monitor. We can't see all of these extra pixels that are being rendered, and we're not getting the full experience, but because we are rendering at such a higher resolution, everything being fed into our monitor is much more compressed, and there is more data with inside of our image, making the overall image way smoother on our monitor. It's not going to look as good as a 4K monitor or a 1440p monitor rendering it native, but it's going to look miles better. You can actually use this feature to render above 4K for an even smoother image. Depending on the game in which you're playing on, it's really going to depend on what settings you're going to want to use. But when it's as simple as taking yourself into the settings menu and simply changing your in-game resolution from your native and trying out these other ones, it's so simple, quick, and easy. And if you change it back to your monitor's native resolution, 
the feature is no longer running. So in all honesty, in most games in which I'm going to be playing in the future, instead of using anti-aliasing, I'm just going to be using this feature. And there you guys have it. This is my quick and easy setup guide to use NVIDIA DLDSR for improved resolution and graphics with inside of almost any game in which you are playing with a minimal FPS impact. If you guys have enjoyed this style of video and would like to learn more about NVIDIA drivers, some of the new settings coming to them, such as being able to add ray tracing within a simple few steps, you can check out those videos in the description down below and on screen now. Again, if you have enjoyed this video, please do consider pressing the like button and leaving a comment for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys in the next one.